There is a rather unbelievable and insane mega-project madness taking over the Middle East, and more particularly in the super-rich Arabian Gulf states of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates. They are even building entire cities, but instead of going horizontal, they are building vertically and seem to be in love with futuristic engineering concepts that are quite amazing and more importantly good for the health of people and the planet alike. Imagine a cube structure that can accommodate 20 Empire State Buildings or two parallel 1,700 feet high skyscraper that stretches 172 miles in a straight line, or an entertainment city that has a budget of $75 billion just to make the kids and young at heart happy or a skyscraper that is designed as and looks like a collection of opulent diamonds, or rather a massive one. If the mind can imagine it, these countries either already have it or are building it. So without further ado, here are some of the most mesmerizing recent megaprojects in the Middle East that have been announced in the past six months. Let's start with Saudi Arabia. And no, we will not be talking about the city of Neom because we covered that Giga project in a previous video that you just have to check out because Neom has a budget of $1 trillion. And technically speaking, the Saudis do not need it. They are building to make the world a better place. When the Saudis announced the Giga project called the Al Muraba, excitement filled the kingdom because even though the capital Riyadh boasts an awesome and great downtown, Al Muraba is bound to turn it into a true futuristic, ultra modern, stunning place. This Giga project literally has an open budget and includes the construction of 104,000 residential units, 9,000 hotel rooms, 1.5 million square feet of retail space, 2.5 million square feet of office space, 1 million square feet of leisure assets, and 2.7 million square feet of community facilities. It will also boast a one of a kind museum cored by the $450 million painting, the famous Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi. This takes us to the second project, which interestingly will be constructed within the Al Muraba. After the Muraba was announced, images of the project began circulating, and in early April 2023, an image of a mysterious structure called Al Mukab took people by surprise because it appeared to cover a massive chunk of Riyadh's downtown, and no one knew what it was. As it turned out, al Mukab, which means the cube in English, is a massive cube, rather sci-fi-ish structure that can host 20 standing Empire State Buildings. With a mammoth dimension of 1,312 feet in length, breadth, and height, the Mukab will be the largest built structure in the entire world. The exterior will be based on the classic Najdi architectural style to complement the rich and ancient Saudi heritage. It will be the shimmering jewel of the Al Muraba and its robust core. In the center of the Mukab, a massive futuristic tower seated on a spiraled base will be constructed. The massive interior walls will have giant floor-to-ceiling video screens used for projections that will make one feel as if they are standing inside an alternative universe, or shall I say, a real-life metaverse. And of course, it will boast top-notch premium retail, residential, hospitality, dining, and entertainment outlets that suit every taste. And because the Saudis are eager to not leave any room for competitors, they recently announced that they aim to build the world's highest skyscraper, and their goal is not to beat the current record holder, that is Burj Khalifa in Dubai, by a few hundred feet, but rather by a whole mile. Eight carefully selected engineering and design firms, such as Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, Adrian Smith, and Gordon Gill Architecture, Cohn Pedersen Fox, Gensler, Aegis, and the Dubai-based Killa design firm, were invited to bid for this $5 billion project and they were asked to enclose a $1 million bidding fee just to be considered, and they did. The Saudis are sort of keeping this project hush-hush since they do not announce such mega-projects until the plans and blueprints are ready. However, rumor has it that a site close to King Khalid International Airport in the capital Riyadh has been identified and a feasibility study has been conducted. The tower will be 1.2 mile high, making it more than twice the height of Burj Khalifa. What is truly mystifying about this space scraper is the fact that no one has even attempted to design such a behemoth because technically speaking, concrete and steel alone cannot withstand such weight. However, progress that was impossible yesterday is tomorrow's reality. We will be sure to bring the details in another video once we get our hands on them, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications icon.
Let's now move to Saudi Arabia's neighbor, Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, which already possesses the world's tallest tower Burj Khalifa, which by the way, has the world's only known gold ATM. Not because it is made of pure gold, but also because it dispenses small gold bars. Our point here, Dubai is about luxury, and finally, it has decided to build a residential 102-story tower that is sort of hard to describe, because Burj Bing Hadi will have a one-of-a-kind diamond-shaped peak reminiscent of an actual crown designed by Jacob and Company. And of course, the location is the opulent Business Bay area in sumptuous Dubai. Interestingly, the sale of luxury two- and three-bedroom suites and penthouses in this jewel has already begun, and buyers can expect an unparalleled iconic way of life in this genius tower. Naturally, Jacob Arabo is the sole designer of this magnificent structure, which is expected to be 1,700 feet high. Additionally, the luxury jewelry company Jacob & Company seems to have quite a bit of a say in the design. It will not be cheap either, since small units are already selling for $2.5 million each. The tower will include exclusive penthouses, a private members club, an infinity pool overlooking the Dubai skyline, and an in-house concierge service offering private chefs, bodyguards, chauffeurs, and chefs. It will simply be the apex of luxury housing, a signature feature that adds further grandeur to Dubai's magical skyline. Since we are checking out Dubai, we might as well check out their plan to build the world's first floating vertical city, love it or hate it. As the old current global housing and commercial infrastructure crumbles, governments and real estate developers around the world will cease giving permits to horizontal city expansion projects as vertical cities begin taking over by the year 2050 at the most. The movies might have portrayed vertical cities as some sort of nauseous overcrowded prisons. However, Dubai thinks not. Hence, they are building what we can only call a prototype vertical city that is designed to show the world that vertical cities are the solution to many of humanity's problems. Healthier, attractive for living, and great for Mother Earth. And of course, since the Saudis are building the world's tallest tower, Dubai wants to make this vertical city just as high, but much more massive, with a capacity to accommodate 25,000 residents in a clean, sunlight-rich, and green, utopic, progressive, sustainable community. The designer for this intriguing world-class vertical city is the renowned Italian architecture firm Luca Curci Architects, which is known for its focus on innovations in the concept of the zero energy building. And to make it more intriguing, it will be a floating vertical city and use only renewable energy. It will also feature plenty of open spaces to allow natural light and ventilation. Amazingly, the entire exterior will be covered with photovoltaic glass, and finally, it will also boast underwater floors that will see apartments, duplexes, villas, offices, stores, as well as spas, meditation centers, gyms, and luxury hotel rooms with marine views. And it will be accessible via land, air, and sea. The expected cost of the Dubai Vertical City project is around $20 billion. Do not be naive. These Arab states are not doing all of these impressive projects just for show. They are creating perfect futuristic societies that are ultra-sustainable, environmentally friendly, progressive, and healthy that will not just further advance their economies, but also will act as prototypes for all nations to copy in order to create a better future for all of humanity. We will be bringing you more videos like this one with more recent projects from other Middle Eastern states such as Kuwait, Oman, Bahrain, Qatar, Egypt, and even Iraq. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon. Thank you for watching and farewell.